फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बोल डेली टाइम फ्रेम इन्वर्टेड हेड एंड शोल्डर चार्ट पैटर्न राइट शोल्डर ऑफ दिस पैटर्न योर लास्ट सपोर्ट 1931 थर्टी वन सर्वाइव बिकॉज ऑफ दैट सेकेंड टाइम लोअर देन एक्सपेक्टेड एन एफ पी नंबर नॉट जस्ट वन बट टू मंथ एन एफ पी नंबर आर नाउ बिलो टू हंड्रेड के सो आफ्टर एन एफ पी नंबर फेड कैन नॉट हाइक इंटरेस्ट रेट अगेन इन सेप्टेम्बर एफ ओ एम सी मीटिंग सो एन एफ पी सेंग आफ्टर राइट शोल्डर योर नेक लाइन ऑफ दिस चार्ट पैटर्न शुड ब्रेक बट सिंस लास्ट एफ ओ एम सी मीटिंग वेन प्राइस मीड हाई एट नाइनटीन एटी सेवन अंटिल मार्केट गेट क्लियरिटी वेयर टेन ईयर बॉन्ड यील्ड विल गो विच विल डिसाइड योर रियल यील्ड फॉर गोल्ड इट इज हार्ड टू ब्रेक दिस नेक लाइन नाइनटीन एटी थ्री सो एट द स्पीड सी पी आई गोइंग डाउन आफ्टर थ्री परसेंट इट मस्ट गो डाउन टू टू परसेंट बट आई थिंक सी पी आई कैन गो बैक टू फोर परसेंट अगेन एंड वेन सी पी आई वॉज गोइंग डाउन ऑल एफ एम सी मेम्बर वर सेंग रेट हाइक बट नाउ वेन सी पी आई इज सेट टू गो अप नाउ दे आर सेंग Inflation is going down, and last CPI number was good. And all FOMC member had said this thing, but Fed has not explained what he will do if CPI start going up again. They will pause interest rate or hike again. That is most important thing. CPI number going up and down. It is not important. What FOMC member say? That is most important. If they say pause, neckline will break out. If they say hike, then it will break below nineteen thirty one immediately. Because if you have seen from this top, gold is going down. while 10 year bond yield is going up both in opposite direction but direction of both thing change at the same time on friday after nap number and your fed soft landing turn into recession or stagflation that is most important thing and it has been 40 years since us public has seen stagflation and big difference between both thing is interest rate can go back to zero while stagflation say it will never go back to 0% that's why your 10 year bond yield can stay at 3% but it cannot go below 3% and magical thing about stagflation is 10 year bond yield and gold both goes in same direction so until we see cpi number and their command on that upside surprise this correlation will not change and because of that macro correlation it is hard to break this 1983 neck line and if cpi come down again then it will break above 1983 but cpi will go up again and you should be ready so this week on august 10 your most important news cpi then what fed fomc member say like one fomc member last week said US banking industry commercial real estate and housing market these three sector are in recession he is saying mini recession and only thing is your tech sector it has survived recession because of that ai bubble 
सो योर सी पी आई स्टे एट थ्री परसेंट इधर एट थ्री परसेंट और हायर देन थ्री परसेंट और यू एस इकोनमी कलेप्स इन हार्ड लैंडिंग योर डीप रिसेसन डेट इज द ओनली वे टू सेंड सी पी आई बैक टू टू परसेंट जीरो देन नेगेटिव सो एंटिल फैट से क्रिस्टल क्लियर वाट दे विल डू इन केस ऑफ हायर सी पी आई अगेन दिस नेक लाइन विल नॉट ब्रेक एंड इफ टेन ईयर बॉन्ड यील्ड कीप ड्रॉपिंग देन गोल्ड विल ओनली गो अप बिकॉज दिस ड्रॉप इन गोल्ड वॉट यू सा लास्ट वीक इट वॉज सपोज टू हैपन ऑन अगस्ट एंड ऑन सी पी आई न्यूज डेट विच रेटिंग न्यूज चेंज एवरीथिंग एंड आफ्टर दैट न्यूज इन्वेस्टर डम्प देयर टेन ईयर बॉन्ड एंड यील्ड वर फ्लाइंग एंड गोल्ड वॉज गोइंग डाउन बट सीक्रेट थिंग इज योर yield curve control it is happening right now and it will not stop until difference hit 0% so your fomc member comment after cpi news will decide this level will break out or not but your inverted head and shoulder chart pattern is still valid and your right shoulder is half complete and now retest of neckline or break below 1931 but i believe in stagflation and good chance this 1983 neckline break out and to reduce your risk better you wait till cpi news and if price goes back to 1983 then you buy on breakout or if you have old entry below 1931 hold but for new entry you have to use sl below 1925 h4 resistance first one is 1952 it can retest before cpi but big action will only come after cpi news and for intraday trader scalper 15 minute time frame this was your chart pattern updated in telegram before nap news it retested this lower trend line break out retested upper trend line now it is up again so if 1938 level retest again you can buy and first target 1947 but cpi is your big news maybe you can see sideways correction above 1938 below 1947 your monthly chart your new candlestick it is still trading above 1919 powered by your nap news this month jackson hole meeting first nap then next cpi news this week both will decide what fed will say and his comment will decide this month candlestick will close our 2075 or it break below 1990 h1 time frame this was your last cpi and now price is back where it was before cpi last month so follow support 1931 on your daily time frame and if it goes up then all of these are your resistance and it will break all of them one by one because this was magic of the meeting when fed said to decrease real yield cpi bent up OMC meeting which you missed fed did not said anything important what he will do if cpi goes up again and 
after CPI if they repeat more rate hike then same like your Fitch news if investor dumps again treasury then it can go down again till then you can trade sideways range 1952 1942 and 1933 or if you think stack fixation is possible then ignore everything this is your right shoulder and next target is retest of your neckline then breakout